little bit as you just decorating your home and being your yourself culturally. What did that mean for you? It doesn't, it doesn't show. What's notable about Mum Esther's work is most definitely the colours and the way in which she's able to symmetrically make the colours come alive and not make it feel like it's a, a how to say, an assault on one's eyes. And I think that goes back into her own understanding of spiritually what colours mean to one when they see it, but also contemporary, what a contemporary colours mean now and in the sense of now we've got very vibrant reds, vibrant orange, whereas before she was working more with a, how to explain it, like more of a natural pigment, but I feel that she's able to, with time, constantly change and reinvent herself. As a lot of people will know, her first international exhibition took place in Paris in 1989. Um, this means that she was in her 50s when she was part of her first uh, group exhibition internationally. Um, from that point we can definitely track how her career has grown and expanded into different areas of um, you know, the, the global art world, um, especially internationally. Um, this has obviously had some great resonance within a local context where contemporary African art um, within a South African landscape has, has, has treasured her and, rec and has recognized her for her contributions within um, the South African art market.